What is up everybody, it's your boy Owen Gold doing another video for you this evening. So let's run through my favourite build of all time. It's a pink ranger representing the palace rangers. So we're starting over here, I'm now a stasis warrior. And what happens is, um, when I throw a grenade, basically it's ice, um, and freeze someone, I create stasis shards around them. Bear that in mind. So I freeze people and around them shards appear. When I hold down my grenade, it becomes a little turret and it goes seeking baddies and it'll stay there for a set amount of time and it'll freeze people and then move on to the next when they're frozen bada bing bada boom realist guy in the room how you doing you just got a bullet in your head down here to the fragments so these are like extra little perks within this whole build i've got a fragment here whisper of hedrons dramatically increases weapons stability aim assist mobility resilience and recovery after freezing a target so when i'm frozen i get these little perks and i move really quickly i have high resilience and recovery ain't no thing like a g thing whisper of fissures increases the damage damage size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target so when I shoot them, they explode and it's big. And it affects other people around them. It's like a little nuclear bomb. Whisper of Torment. Every time I get hit, I get my grenade energy back. Brother, I am a grenade machine. I can definitely fix this. Finally, uh, the stasis shards from here, which I mentioned earlier. I haven't got into those yet. But these stasis shards which go around the bodies, they actually track to me and I, they just move towards me and I collect them. I'll tell you why that's important now. Well, in a second. I'm using Monte Carlo auto rifle for the main reason the secondary perk, it reduces my melee cooldown. It's important because my melees also fire ice out so it's like an ice grenade as well so I've got my main grenade and even my melee and this is just bringing the cooldown right down I've I am an ice machine like that dude from Batman secondary weapon not that interested at the moment I'm using a Wesley snipes at the moment but that comes and goes that comes and goes nice looking ghost but here's, the, here's where the action happens. I've masterworked this, I've masterworked this, and I've masterworked this, and I've masterworked this. All my build is around these gloves. However, these gloves dropped with a fault. Because chuffing game's broken all the time. And these are really low stats. So every glove day, when the lost sectors drop exotic gloves, one in four chance every time, I'm hoping for a better roll on these, so I'm not master working these, but when I do, all of these will go up to putting me over at a 90 resilience, 90 recovery, and 100 discipline. Here's why these are important. You need that for health and recovery, you need that for health and recovery. This is the big one. Because I am a grenade machine, you want this at level 100. Um, so minimum cooldown with the grenades, but I ain't using my golf balls, my limited golf balls, ascendant shards on a rubbish pair of gloves. The gloves are great, the stats are rubbish. My whole build is around those Ossiamancy gloves. Here's where it gets complicated, everybody, so pay attention. So, in he, these are the mod slots in my helmet. This is the big one over here, firepower. I become charged with light because of this firepower. While I'm charged with light, well actually I just made a mistake. I become charged with light from another mod that I'm not I haven't got to yet. But when I'm charged with light, I regain a portion of my grenade energy when I throw a grenade when I'm charged with light. Okay? I have put three of those on. 
You would not believe it. There's another one because they stack. And there's the third one right there. So with, when I'm, if I'm charged with light and throw a grenade, I get a bit of grenade energy back from that. I get a bit of grenade energy back from that and from that you would not believe how much grenade energy and cooldown i have got with this 100 discipline as well now on these gloves these gloves in and of themselves look at this perk your grenades have an additional charge that recharge quicker on impact the seeker spawn from cold snap grenade travels further because of these gloves if i hit someone with a grenade i instantly get it back so I'm chucking grenades out, not only am I rapidly cooling down, but if I hit them, these grenades give me. So I've always got two or three grenades on the go. Bang, hit it, get it back, bang, get it back, bang, get it back, bang, get it back. That twinned with the firepower giving me a percentage back. Brother from another mother. I am never out of grenades. Here's where it gets interesting. Pay attention, everybody. Elemental shards. You remember earlier this perk up here that I said I'd come back to. Now is when I'm coming back to it. Glacial harvest. Freezing targets create stasis shards around the baddies. This bad boy turns elemental shards into elemental wells. Stasis shards count as elemental wells. Why does that matter? Because... At the end of my gloves, I have this perk, Elemental Charge. Become charged with light by picking up an Elemental Chuffin Well. If the Elemental Well's Elemental Type matches your subclass, you gain two stacks of charge with light. That means this. When I freeze a target, shards appear around it. They get sucked towards me. Those things get converted into wells, as far as this mod is concerned, which charges me with light, times two. When I am charged with light, I throw a grenade. It consumes this firepower stack and gives me a ton of grenade energy back. I'll still have another um, charge with light left, because this gives me times two, and then I'll throw it and it'll consume that one. Then I have a spare down here, Bada bing, bada boom. That is the build. And I know now you all want to see it in action. One more time again. Increased mobility, defense, and movement whenever I freeze anyone. Cool down coming from Monte Carlo. Charge with light from shards from just freezing people by my gloves. If I hit someone with a grenade... I get it back hmm. and all these then uh, firepower reduce the cooldown as well so I am an absolute beast hmm. I actually will have a hundred there 90 there and 90 there I don't need a hundred anywhere else because when people are frozen I have increased resilience and recovery so i don't actually need a build where this is 100 and this is 100 i don't even need that to be 100 so 90 90 100 is going to be dope enough for me because in action when things are frozen it all acts like it's 100 anyway all right let's see this in action Okay, welcome back. So, I'm just gonna throw a grenade and hit them. See, bottom left there, I've got another grenade back. Look at that season rank 91. So, I got one grenade back already and one rapidly charging. Throw another one. Hit it. Grenade back. Shards around him, they come to me. I'm now charged with light. Here's my melee. I think I missed. Classic. No, I didn't. That's frozen in. Monte Carlo gives me the melee almost back instantly. Just see how quickly that rolls back. There's my melee back. Ice machine. Right, here's my turret. There's the first one in action. There's the second one. That's going to start freezing people. I've now got a stat boost, a resilience, and a There's a shard. Come to me, Papa. Ooh. You 
got the moves. Yes, you have. You, yeah, you have. Yes, you have. You. Oh, oh. Up goes the turret. Now I'm gonna fling my second one. Big explosions. There goes the melee. Grenades are back. Throw one at him. That hit him. Got my. Got it back almost straight away. Boom, and we're back. Still charger light. Throw that out there. And the grenades back. Go get some shards from some people. That, sh that landed on my head. So I hope you've enjoyed the general rundown. There goes a turret. That's going to do its thing. He's frozen. Nice little explosion there. Stat boost. Charge of light times two. And it just never stops. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today and enjoying this build for the Pink Ranger. Back again here, brother. You should see it when the Cabal um, explode. Thank you very much and ciao for now.